and welcome back to another video. If you watched my previous vlog episode, you would have seen me talk about this book that I picked up at my local op shop. And I was talking about the fact that I thought it would be a good idea to use some of these really pretty photos of flowers in this book as reference images for some quick little artworks. And I had a few comments from people over here and also on Instagram saying that it would be great and they'd love to see it. So here I am. This is going to be a new series. And I don't know how many videos I'll end up putting in this series. I'm not going to put any pressure on myself, but this is the first in hopefully a couple of different videos. And yeah, I also thought that it might be fun to try a few different mediums while I'm using these pictures as inspiration. So in today's video it's gouache but I might try out some watercolor some pencil some oil some you know acrylic again I don't really know uh, we'll just see what happens so for today's little painting demonstration I decided to start with this really pretty picture of a crab apple I love the pinks and the greens and the sort of the softness in this image and crab apples are probably one of my favorite trees I think they are really pretty we have them everywhere in Australia and I kind of you know to me you know crab apple blossoms mean springtime that's they, they sort of come out early spring and it's the first sort of pop of color that you see after the dreary winter that we sometimes have in Melbourne so I thought it was a good place to start so this is the image that I'm going to be working from and I'm going to get started. So you can see that I've just loosely sketched in the rough composition of where I want the flowers and the stems and everything to be. Uh, all of this is going to get completely painted over so there's no point me sketching anything in too much detail. I just kind of wanted to plot out where everything was going to go. Here is a brief kitty break. These two are having some kitty box walls behind me. Uh, <laughs> this is one of their favourite boxes, one of their numerous boxes that's around the house. And this time it looks like bean one, but I guarantee Luna probably kicked him out five minutes later. <laughs> so for this painting, I'm using the Liquitex. Uh, acrylic gouache. Uh, I've, I've got a review of these paints in another video so if you haven't heard of these or if you want a bit more information about these paints then you can check out the video that I already have where I talk in more detail about them uh, but they're essentially just an uh, acrylic gouache and these are the colors that I was using. Fairly limited palette. I've got primary yellow, primary blue, cadmium red light, quinacridone magenta and titanium white and yeah like usual I like to work with just limited palettes I don't like using too many colors to complicate things and the first step was really just uh, loosely blocking in some color washes so I've watered down the gouache quite a lot so it kind of acts a little bit more like watercolor paint just to sort of block in and add a bit of a base coat I'm painting on watercolor paper so this is 300 GSM I believe it's Archer's hot pressed paper, uh, I'm not quite sure, <laughs> so, um, I'm pretty sure it is. And uh, yeah, I'm just really loosely and watery kind of blocking in where the colours are going to be just to create a bit of a base layer to work from. Once that first block in layer is completely dry, I'm now going to come in and start putting in some of the dark colours that I can see. Uh, the first thing that I block in is the trunk of the cherry blossom tree, or the crab apple tree, and I kind of mixed up a bit of a brownish red colour uh, and just blocked in the shape, not following you know the exact sketch because like I said it, it was just a loose sort of sketch. And um, 
yeah, kind of just letting the paint do its own thing <laughs> as far as colours go. Uh, it's, you know, I just wanted it to be a dark colour. I think in the photo it's actually really dark brown, but I mixed up a bit more of a reddish brown just to make it a bit more interesting. If you haven't really worked with gouache before it's kind of described as like a an opaque watercolor it's it's you know you can you can mix it quite watery and use it in a very similar way to watercolor however you can also use it in a thicker kind of more like acrylic way and build up layers on top of each other but it's also reworkable which means that you can sort of go in and make changes and wet it up again. However, this acrylic version of gouache is a little bit more like acrylic paint rather than gouache in that once it's set, it does dry a little bit more permanently. Uh, but the consistency is still the, exactly the same as gouache or traditional gouache and it works in it pretty much exactly the same way. And yeah, so it's, um, it's a really versatile medium and it's, really it's a fast medium as well because gouache does dry really quickly so you can work really really fast and you don't have to wait for everything to dry and yeah that's about all I really have to say <laughs> like I like I said you know I have actually done a full video on this Liquitex gouache before so if you want to know more about this particular product then you're probably better off having a look at that video because I'm probably not going to go through that much technical kind of information in this video. But you can see that I'm just building up layers of colour. So I started with the pink as quite a darker pink and then I've added in a few layers of lighter pink. Now I'm going in and adding in the green of some of the leaves. It's more of like a yellower green. And the key to gouache is really you just have to keep building up the layers. Like you need to think of them as like shapes and every shape that you put on is a different value and so by doing that you can build up the artwork. Once I'd blocked in most of the flowers, I then came in with a lighter version of blue that I had in the background. And I used that blue to sort of cut in around and neaten up the edges of some of the flowers and also to create a bit more of a highlight in the background. 
just to kind of give the illusion that the light was coming through these flowers and uh, yeah so I kind of just varied the blue up a little bit some points I made it a bit lighter sometimes a bit darker and just uh, filled it in where I felt like it needed a bit of a lift Also apologize once again for the lighting in this video I know it jumps around quite a lot unfortunately I don't really have a a nice place in my house that has consistent non-direct light <laughs> that I can film in so this is kind of as good as it's gonna get uh, at the moment in Melbourne we are back in lockdown we've had a bit of a coronavirus outbreak and so we are locked down for the next seven days so I'll try and film as many as I can of these videos while I'm in lockdown because that's when I'm going to have lots of free time. And so most of these videos are probably going to have this rather average lighting in them. So I do apologize for that, but I kind of have to make do with what I have. I've just reached the stage where I'm going to add in a few details and highlights here and there. I don't want to go too crazy with the details. I'm not trying to make this look like a realistic painting. I really like the brush strokes and the looseness of this, but uh, it does look nice when you sort of add in a few more defined areas of detail here and there. So that's what I'm doing here. And uh, then this piece is nearly finished.
it's done, it's time for some oddly satisfying tape peeling. Uh, this is just, I just use regular masking tape to mask off the edges of the paper that I'm using to keep it nice and flat. And so here is a nice tape peel to reveal the edges of this painting, which is finished. And I'm really happy with it. I love the colours. I think it's really bright and fresh and happy. And it represents the crab apple tree exactly how I would imagine it. And I hope that you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Well, not really tutorial, it was more of just a watch me paint video. But I hope you enjoyed watching me paint. And I will be doing more of these. So leave a comment and let me know what you think. And also if there's any suggestions of sort of mediums, things you want me to have a go at. And also, if you haven't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button so that you don't miss out on the videos that are coming up in the next week or so. And yeah, I hope that you are all well and have a lovely week.